Thank you all very much. That was Watermelon Man, originally by Herbie Hancock. That was a VJ Sing arrangement of it. Uh, I always love doing walk-ons like that because these guys have a lot of style and I always want to show that off first thing. Uh, this is the Cascade High School Del Sonics, our jazz choir, and aren't they just the best thing? I love working with these students in the morning. My name is Nick Sanchez. I am the director of the Cascade High School Choir and Orchestra programs, and I'm so excited to be here with you uh, at our spring concert. Uh, so one of the favorite things that I have to, as an obligation um, as a choir and orchestra teacher is awards. Uh, and so that's why I stole this from you, is because I needed to actually do the awards, Isaac. So. Um, I'm trying to start a, a ritual here, or a, a kind of a yearly thing of, of giving awards uh, within the different programs to people who I think are really, really deserving. People who have shown really great leadership um, beyond just aptitude within the choirs. Uh, and so for jazz, um, it just made sense. There's one student when I first came to subbing here at Cascade uh, who would, without fail, talk to me after class about something. It might be music. It might be, you know, what we're doing that day. It might be something totally different. Uh, and what's funny is that the long-term sub even told me, oh yeah, the student will do that. They'll, they'll, they'll go and they'll talk to you about music. Uh, and I always loved hearing uh, what he had to say. Uh, and so the uh, Jazz Choir Award, the Vocal Jazz Award uh, for the 2021-2022 school year is awarded to Isaac Edgerton. Congratulations. <laughs> So yes, congratulations, Isaac. I'll take a look into, into getting a proper plaque so that you could be the first one with the, the Vocal Jazz Award and then we can start a tradition that way. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, we, have, thank you. we have one more song for you as our jazz choir. Uh, this actually is uh, one of the first recordings of this upcoming tune is a Fats Waller recording. So a really old recording, I believe from the 30s or 40s. Uh, and over the years, it's taken on different forms. This piece is called Let's Sing Again. Uh, and it was popularized by Louise Rose, who was a Canadian uh, piano player and singer, but who also had a television show very similar to Mr. Rogers uh, up in Canada. And this was her theme song. This is a day for doing an arrangement of Let's Sing Again. Nothing wrong with this old world Some little song won't cure Whether you're rich or poor Of this little thought I'm sure It's a pretty good old world If we will treat it right
Orchestra, feel free to come on as soon as Jazz Choir is done. I meant to give one last thank you, and that was to our piano accompanist uh, for the last piece. That was Forrest. I borrowed him from the jazz band, and I'm very grateful. Uh, we have another accompanist who I'll be introducing later in the night as well, uh, who will be helping us out with the rest of the music. Uh, but yeah, next up we have our Cascade High School Choir. We're going to be starting uh, with a piece called Night Errant. We've got two pieces as just the orchestra. Uh, but then we'll be bringing them back on out at the end of the night for one combined piece that isn't in the program. So stay tuned for that. I hope these folks get set up, and then we're going to get going. Yes, Adura, go ahead and set up backstage. Be ready for your turn.
Thank you all very much. We have one more piece for you, like I said, but before we get to that, again, I think it's fitting that we give uh, an award. Uh, so, the Cascade High School Orchestra Program is a very new program. Um, these students, I think, started out in orchestra, and then COVID hit pretty much immediately. Uh, so they weren't really able to play very much until we were able to all come back in person and really get some stuff going. Uh, and then, of course, you know, they didn't have a music teacher for a little while, uh, but they persevered and they kept going. And they had a really tenacious sense of curiosity about the music, about their instruments, uh, and I think one student really exemplified that. Uh, when we started here, we had a whole bunch of violins and a cello and two basses, and we needed a viola player. Uh, and so I asked the, uh, the, the orchestra if anybody wanted to play viola, and one student raised their hand, uh, and she has done an amazing job picking it up after only playing for a couple months now. Yeah. Uh, and she's done a really, really terrific job, and I'm super proud of her. She's done a lot of amazing work. I mean, this is your first year playing a string instrument, period, correct? Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the orchestra award for the year of 2021 to 2022 goes to Olivia Carrier. So we have one more piece for you here as an orchestra. This is a Bob Phillips tune. One of the favorite things that I have uh, at my disposal with an orchestra is the ability to play different genres of music. So this is a tango entitled Toucan Tango.
All right, team, we are going to take a quick intermission to get rid of these chairs, put them in the back, just in that back corner, uh, and then we'll bring out the choirs. So thank you for your patience. We'll be with you soon. All right, Adura, if you're back there, come on to the stage. So we are performing two pieces for you tonight with Adura, which is our treble choir. The first one is a song called uh, The Song That Nature Sings. I think it's a really beautiful piece, a uh, setting of words uh, to describe sort of the springtime. Uh, we'll get you in the right spot, let me just keep walking up, walk to your normal spot. Um, to really describe nature in the springtime, in the summertime, uh, and so I think it's a really appropriate piece of music to perform uh, at this time of year. So, without further ado, this is Adura singing the song that nature sings.
Thank you all very much. We have one more piece of music for you as a Dura. This is an Eric Whitaker piece. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Eric Whitaker, but he is sort of the rock star of the choral world. Uh, he got famous especially uh, for doing what are called his virtual choirs. Virtual choirs being, uh, actually, well before the pandemic, uh, an opportunity where he uploaded his sheet music and a track of him conducting, uh, and people around the world would sing the music, would sing their parts, send it in to him, and then he and his, his team would mix them and edit them into these beautiful videos. Uh, and at first I think it started with maybe, you know, a couple thousand people, because he's pretty popular, and then it just ballooned up to several thousand people uh, across the world singing in these virtual choirs. And this was one of the songs done, I believe it was for virtual choir six or seven. Uh, this is the treble version arrangement of Sing Gently. Thank you all very much. Thank you all very much. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our fabulous and talented accompanist, the wonderful and talented and lovely Miss Judy Zikafus, everyone.
I may be a broken record because I think I brought this up last time, but I was very lucky to get to know Judy back when I was actually in high school. Uh, and we've kept in touch throughout the years, and she's been um, just one of my biggest supporters. And, and so I want to say thank you for all that, that you've done for me. Symphonic Choir, come on down. Um, but yeah, and so I, I just wanted to, to express that gratitude to, to Judy um, for all that she does. So thank you very much. The students appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm sure the parents do as well. Uh, so next up, we have our Symphonic Choir. Uh, we will be starting with a piece called, what is this piece called? Like a Rose in the Summer. Again, I think it's pretty apt given the time of year that we're entering right now. Uh, I wanted to do some music that was, you know, thematic for the season. Uh, so this is Like a Rose in the Summer.
Thank you all very much. That's one of my favorite pieces. Um, uh, in case you uh, couldn't tell by the lyrics, it's about a soldier who got sent off to war in World War I, uh, the alley man being the, the name for the enemy at the time. Uh, and so I'm really happy to be able to, to share moving, really powerful music um, with such adult students uh, and for them to be able to handle it. Uh, and so I'm really, really appreciative of getting to work with these students every day. It really does make my life much more enriching. We have one more piece for you. This is a very tonally different piece of music. This is a French song. It was actually written in the 1500s by Pierre Sertin. This is a song all about gossip. This is Je le vous dirai. Excellent. We have one more choir for you tonight before we do our big mixed number. Uh, that is going to be Vivace. Working with Vivace has been a real pleasure. Um, it's kind of interesting. When I came into this job about halfway into the year, uh, I heard that I was sort of inheriting uh, a well-established treble choir program. Vivace, you can come on out now. Uh, and when I actually got in front of them and got to working with them, I realized uh, just to the extent of that, uh, how much it was true. Uh, it really felt like I was given the keys to a really nice sports car. And then it was just sort of, you know, up to me to steer it in the right direction and make sure that it was all hip and happening. Uh, and so it's been a lot of fun working with Vivace uh, this past half a year. We are going to be starting with an Indian song, actually, uh, called Tarakita. The lyrics don't mean anything. Uh, Indian rhythmic solfege uh, is a way of uh, internalizing rhythm and pitch. Uh, and so this is an Indian piece, a traditional Indian style piece, 
uh, using those types of lyrics. So this is Tarakita and welcome on Vivace. Thank you all very much. It's hard to breathe in that piece, but it's a lot of fun doing it with a small group like this, you know, finding out where they can breathe. Uh, this next piece that we're doing is called Luke's Eterna. Uh, it is a setting of, uh, well, Luke's Eterna is a part of the Catholic Mass. Uh, there's a million different settings of it. This is one done by Michelle Roche that I think is particularly nice. Uh, and these students actually performed it at the uh, state competition for state Solon ensemble. They qualified for state and we went over to Ellensburg at Central Washington University and competed. And these students did a terrific job and I'm extremely, extremely proud of them, especially considering uh, the start that they had to this year as well as the past, you know, three or four years that they've had. Uh, and so I'm just endlessly proud of these students. Uh, and so this is Luke's Eterna.
Thank you all very much. Uh, we have one more piece for you tonight uh, as Vibace. But with that being said, I have to give an award. Uh, and so, um, it's interesting being here in my first year uh, with a group of, of seniors uh, and trying to find, you know, seniors that I think are really deserving of, you know, an award for all four years of their time here at school. Um, but there's um, a student in here uh, who I think really does uh, exemplify the, the good work and the, hard, uh, the, the good attitude, the hard work that you need uh, to not only be a good singer, but to be a really powerful leader. Uh, and so our next piece well, that we're doing as a big ensemble uh, has a couple soloists. Uh, and I was out sick last week, and I came into school yesterday, and I was like, hey, you're gonna do the solo. She's like, okay, and she did it. Uh, and so she's an exceptionally talented woman who's going to go very far in her life. And I'm very excited to give the award to Mariana Oliva uh, for the choir department award uh, here at Cascade High School. So congratulations, Mariana. The other interesting thing about being here uh, in my first year is that, well, like I said, I, I didn't get to see all of it. Um, and, and this year in particular, it was tough because there are a lot of absences due to illness or you know, mental health or whatever it is. Uh, and so having just a shining star, a beam of light, if you will, in the choir room, um, any time that this student was in, really, really made the choir better, more cohesive, more of a unit, and it made my day brighter every day as well. So I couldn't just give one choir award uh, for this choir. I had to give two. Um, so the other one is going to go to Storm Steiner. Congratulations, Storm. It is well deserved. <laughs> We have one more piece for you. This is also a bit of a tonal shift. Uh, this is uh, a piece by Gregory Orbas, I believe, and uh, it's about demons. This is Demon Urepit Kalidus. Thank you very much. Now we have to bring everybody up for one last combined song. It is not in the program. Uh, we need to move this piano over here. Vivace students, would some of y'all mind helping Mrs. Zikafus push this over to the side? Uh, thank you all very much. So this next piece that we're going to do is a great big combined piece. 
Yeah, go on from the back. Is a great big combined piece written by Christopher Tin. Christopher Tin is uh, a well-known composer actually from the Seattle area. His biggest claim to fame would be actually working on the Civilization series of video games. Uh, he is the main composer of those. So if anybody here uh, has ever played Civilization IV, this is actually the theme song to that. This is Baba Yetu. Uh, it's a great piece in Swahili. We're going to be featuring two different so uh, vocal soloists. That is going to be Mariana, and we also have Isaac, who is going to be a featured vocalist. We are also going to have our orchestra joining us as well. So I hope you don't mind. It's going to take a sec for us to go ahead and set up shop here, uh, and then we will get going. So thank you for your patience and uh, we'll be with you in just a sec.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for coming out tonight, for supporting local art, for creating such amazing students, and for supporting them as well. And uh, if you all want to get involved in uh, Booster Club, if you want to get involved in the program here at Cascade, let me know. Shoot me an email. Give me a call. I'm more than happy to work with you to make this choir, this orchestra, as awesome as it can be. It takes a village, and I know that you all uh, are the kind of amazing parents, guardians, and leaders who can really make that happen. Students, thank you for an amazing first year of my, uh, of my career here. It means a lot. Y'all will uh, forever be my first, my first year, and it means a lot. Um, I'll remember you always. Thank you all so much. Everyone, have a fantastic night. Have a fantastic summer. Thank you all. Have a good one.